Hey folks, it's Duke here from GeoFolk. Today we're in ArcGIS Pro. We have a list of shape files all representing different US states. What we want to do is, we'll open one of these and take a look. We want to export this attribute table as an XLS into an Excel file essentially. So we could go to the Analysis tab, click Tools, type Table to Excel, and then for each 50 states, we could find them in a the drop down, select them, give it a place to save the XLS and hit run. We could also right click on the table and to Excel tool and explore the batch feature. But today we'll focus on using Model Builder to export all 50 of these states. The benefit of using the Model Builder as we go to Analysis and then Model Builder is that we can export a ton of different feature classes. Say instead of 50 states, we want to export 200 tables. How will we do that? First, we'll go to the Model Builder tab, then we'll go to Iterators, We'll select Iterate by Feature Class and click on it. Here we'll right click on the Iterate Feature Classes and then we'll click the folder once that opens and go and find the folder that has all the shape files. Once we've found that folder, we can click OK. Click on the folder, then click OK. For the feature type, I know that all of these are polygons, so I'll select that and click OK. OK, now we can drag the table to a cell tool in and use the output, which will be in green, as an input table for the table to a cell tool. Once we have that, we can right click on the table to a cell tool and go find the folder that we want to put the actual output XLSs in. Then we'll type percent symbol name and then percent symbol dot XLS. It can be an XLS or an SXLSX. But what this do will do is as the model is looping through all of the distant shape files, it'll name it what it's named in the feature class or within the folder. We can hit OK. And after that, we can go back to Model Builder. We can validate the model. Then we can hit Run. As you can see, the model is working through the different shape files and it's creating XLSs for each one of them. After that, we can close out the model when it's done running. Okay. Now, once we navigate to the folder where we save the XLSs, we can open each XLS and see that the data for the shape file is in them. Sometimes you can see when you open up that cell that the columns get bunched up. You can hover over the division between the columns and you can drag to separate them more, or give them less space, depending on what's needed. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more content.